Now, a couple of times, a lot of my contacts have asked about uh, the CFO, particularly when they want to buy property inside an estate, and um, the realtor or the estate or the company tell them that the property has a global CFO. Now, there are common questions like, uh, will I get a copy of the CFO? Will the CFO be in my name? Blah, blah, blah. If I buy, what documents will the company give me? So, in this episode of Meet the Property Guy, we will be discussing about um, global CFO. What, what, what is the meaning of global CFO? What does it mean when you are buying a property and the title is global CFO? What does that interpret? And what are the things that you can do next after you buy a property with a global CFO? Now, in case you are coming across a video like this for the first time, this Meet the Property Guy Property Channel. And this will discuss everything real estate for first time investors, avid investors. People who are just about to start investing in real estate and they want to learn as much as they can before they start putting in their funds. So we share tips, guys, and advice here about what you should buy, locations, property titles, real estate companies, risk, everything you need to know basically before you start investing in real estate and you start buying properties. So after watching this particular educative guide, I also advise that you go to our um, different other videos and different other episodes we have a playlist on real estate companies where we share a lot of things you need to know about real estate company clauses real estate companies allocation and so on and so forth like that we also have playlists on land documents where we have done different videos and different episodes about land titles here in Nigeria. you are definitely going to learn a lot from that so let's go into the topic the global cfo what's the meaning of the global cfo when you are buying a property here in nigeria so, um, first things first, CFO is CFO. Either it's government allocation CFO or government allocated CFO, is global CFO, is general CFO, the CFO is in family name, is in company name, certificate of occupancy is certificate of occupancy. CFO can be on one plot. CFO can be on 100 plots. CFO can be on two plots. CFO can be on 200 plots. CFO can be on five plots. CFO can be on 500 plots. A real estate company or any company at all that owns a property can have the CFO in their company's name or the organization's name. An individual can have a CFO in his or her name. A family or a community that has a gazette can also have a CFO in their family or their community name. For some of you investors that have been going, uh, that have been um, checking property titles or um, verifying property titles, you are going to understand some of the things that I'm saying. There are some CFO that will be on the company's name. There are some CFO that will be in the family's name. There are some CFO that will be in the community's name. So the name the CFO is on doesn't really matter. Certificate of occupancy is certificate of occupancy. The tenor for the CFO is 99 years, except in some cases. There are some locations here in Lagos where the government didn't grant them 99 years. And that's why at times your lawyer should investigate and verify this CFO and this governor's consent for you. So most times when we Utahs talk about a global CFO, we are talking about a CFO that covers an expanse of land. So this CFO can be in an individual name, it can be in a family name, it can be in a community name, and in most case scenario, it can be in, real, in, in a real estate company's name. So the company goes there, acquire 20 acres, 50 acres, and then they perfect the documents and did a CFO over the entire 50 acres, over the entire 20 acres in their own name. The only reason we call it a global CFO is because it covers an expanse of land and it's not the entire expanse of land that you are buying. So the CFO covers 20 acres and you are buying only two plots. The CFO covers 10 acres and you are buying only five plots. So if you are buying the entire plot, you don't really want to care if the CFO is global or not. But because you are only buying some out of the entire land the CFO covers, that's why we are using the term global CFO. Even sometimes, lawyers they use general cfo instead of global cfo so what is the implication and interpretation that a cfo covers an expanse of land 
and you are only buying some parts out of the land not the entire land now first thing first because the land already has a CEO full either in the company's name in the family's name or in the community's name that means you yourself after you have bought that property you cannot do another CEO full first thing you buy the two plots you buy the five plots you buy the ten plot or one acre two acres that you want to buy there out of the entire expanse of land the CEO full covers a CEO full cannot be given in your own name because a CFO exists on the land already. So the CFO is in the company's name, is in the family's name. You yourself, once you buy, you cannot have a CFO in your name. You cannot have a CFO in your So no need for you to ask that, ah, okay, since this land has, has a CFO, will that give me a CFO in my own name? No. Two CFO cannot exist on one land. So what you can do after purchase, the first thing is you get a deed of assignment and a survey plan. The survey plan will represent that out of the entire 20 acres, 10 acres, 50 acres, which the CFO covers, two plots or five plots that you bought is that so-so block or so-so street or so-so plot number. That will be ind indicated in your survey plan, which is one of the reasons why I always advise when you buy a property, Whatever the company asks you to pay, pay it and collect your physical allocation. Until the stage you get a physical allocation, you don't have a property yet. So the first thing is, when you buy a property with a global CFO or a general CFO, a CFO cannot be issued in your name because the land already has a CFO. Now, the second thing, you may now ask, if a CFO is not going to be issued in my own name, how will I know? that the land has a CFO. So in the deed of assignment, your lawyer or the company's lawyer or the buyer's lawyer are going to prepare for you. It will be indicated there in the recitals, a brief history on how the company acquired the property and the current title they have on, that, on the property. So in that recitals, the CFO number will be in the deed of assignment in the first page. So if you buy any property and the estate has a CFO, just open your deed of assignment. In the first page, you are going to, once you go through the, in the first page, you are going to see it there, where they state it, that so-so CFO with so-so CFO file number, blah, 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 is on that land. So that tells you that that land that you buy still falls under the part with the CFO. The survey plan will also reflect that too. By the time you search or do a chart on the, on the um, coordinates or the survey plan number that they give you, it's just going to show that that land falls within the CFO. So you're not going to get a CFO in your name. What you're going to get is a deed of assignment. But inside that deed of assignment, they will be stated that the land has a CFO and the CFO file number will be stated inside that deed of assignment. If the CFO file number and the CFO details are not stated in the deed of assignment, you can't use that deed of assignment to process a governor's consent. So which takes me to the third thing. So if you buy a property and the estate or the company or the family already has a CFO covering an expanse of land, and you only, buy, you only bought maybe two plots, one acre, out of the entire land that is under that CFO, what you can do on that property is to apply and obtain a governor's consent. A governor's consent and a deed of assignment are almost like the same. The difference is that at that last page, there are some stampings and some signatures that's going to be there that's going to upgrade the deed of assignment to a governor's consent. So if you buy a land that has CFO, you can't get CFO in your own name. What you are going to get is a governor's consent. And I've done a couple of videos already, and I'll also be sharing some links in the description of this video on period videos that I've done about the governor's consent. So what are the questions that you need to ask if you want to buy a property and then the property has a global CFO? Now, if it's a company that you are dealing with and it's an estate that you want to buy from, the first thing that you want to look at is, is the estate already gated? Do they have their clear boundaries? Because if they don't have their clear boundaries, Companies can be very tricky. 
the global sea of foam might cover only some part of the entire land that they have there so you want to be sure that the part that are allocating for you falls within the part that they have that sea of foam at times company you are we acquire like 50 acres or 60 acres of land they only do sea of foam on 10 acres and use that sea of foam to sell the entire 50 acres so it's, it's only some part of the land that are going to allocate for people that have sea of foam for people that fall within the sea of foam the other part won't fall under the sea of foam and everybody will just assume that the land they have or the land that they bought has a sea of foam so just want to be sure you just want to be careful at times not most time, not every time but at times about the land that was allocated for you the part that was, was allocated for you falls under the sea of all part of the estate in case the estates are not really transparent all right now another thing is if you buy a land that has sea of foam you really don't have to bother about so much because one of the things i always advise particularly around the bedjuleki and some very very fast developing part of lagos is always try to buy a land with governor's consent or sea of foam because with this one you are not going to do so much you are not going to be really forced to perfect the document and you can easily obtain a government a building approval on that property because the entire estate has a governor's consent already or has a sea of foam compared to maybe the land is freehold or the land is existing in process or all those other lesser property titles so most times in lagos try as much as you can that the estates or the property that you want to buy has a sea of foam or has a governor's consent it makes things a lot 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 easier for you finally there is no much difference about sea of foam regardless of whatever they put in front government allocated sea of foam is still sea of foam global sea of foam is still sea of foam general sea of foam is still sea of foam sea of foam is sea of foam that is in a family's name is a community's name is an organization's name whatever name that is on it what you just want to verify is is the cfo legit hope it has not been revoked is the cfo hope there is no mortgage on it that means hope the company or whoever has that cfo have not gone to the bank to obtain a loan and use that property as a collateral is lawyers that can verify this for you hope there is no dispute on the land that has been registered in the courts on that particular cfo so these are the different checks that they are going to do on that CFO. Number one, from the land ministry, hope the CFO has not been revoked. Number two, from the mortgage um, registry, hope there is no liens or mortgage on that property with, um, with the CFO. Hope the company has not gone and obtained a loan and used that property as, as a mortgage for it. Then lastly, hope there is no dispute on, on that property uh, with that CFO. So, once the lawyers can verify these things and they tell you that it's all good, then you can go on and buy, get your deed of assignment and survey, and if you want to, you can go on and perfect that property to a governor's consent. Now, I'll be doing a couple of um, videos after this, talking about a lot of land titles. Even most of my next three, four videos will mostly be on land documents. Um, court judgment with CFO, acquisition and acquisition and so on because these are very very important things the security on your real estate investment is the title on it if there's any type uh, any dispute or any form of issue on that title is going to affect your property affect your investment and also affect your return so that's why you cannot be over careful when it comes to property titles now, if you have further questions about a property that you want to buy with CFO, a property that you have bought with CFO, and you want to find out some certain things about the CFO, some certain details in the deed of assignment, or the document that the, go the company they gave you after you bought the property, you can drop a comment here. You can drop a comment here. And if you have been watching our videos, been learning from our videos, and you haven't subscribed yet, this is another fantastic opportunity for you to subscribe. You have been sharing a lot of tips, a lot of guides so that you don't make some certain mistakes with your investment what you can just do to pay us back just to subscribe give us a thumb like and also be a part of the channel so um i think you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, your property advisor your party consultant rabbi mustafa 
thanks once again for watching our videos we appreciate you we appreciate your comments your thumb likes your shares your encouragement a lot of you guys have also come to our dm and appreciate our work we appreciate a lot of you guys so much and see you next time